How's it everybody? Nice little language question here. 5.1, correct the error of tense in line one. Um, American researchers just published. What do you mean just published? You have just published it. Or published. American research published what they're calling. Or have just published. Or have published. There are so many possible answers here, but just published is wrong. 5.2, there's a tautology in lines one to three. If you look very carefully, all inclusive and comprehensive is the same thing, so we remove one of them. 5.3, differentiate between the use of colon, the colon in line four and line seven. Line four, boom, line seven. So in line four, it indicates that there's gonna be some kind of explanation coming. And in line seven, as you guys can see, uh, there are direct quotation marks. So I'm just going to put there DQ, not disqualified, direct quotation. 5.4, uh, the difference between the word uninterested and disinterested. Okay, so hopefully you've got the vocab for it. How the change in prefix from un to dis. So uninterested, you've got no interest at all in something, almost like a negative attitude toward it. But disinterested, if you're disinterested in something, then you're completely neutral, completely neutral. 5.5.1, think of completing your tax return, learning PowerPoint and attending safety seminars that involves dull interactions. Okay, we know you have a Concord error there. 5.5.1, identify the part of speech of the underlying word, safety seminars. Safety seminars, you're describing the seminars, therefore safety here is going to be an adjective. And like we correctly saw, the grammatical error here is that S. Um, so it should just be involve. 5.6, collect the malapropism in paragraph three. There is a malapropism here in paragraph three. Uh, feel free to pause the video and have a look at it. Okay, pause it. I said pause it. No, I'm, I'm joking. Look, uh, hopefully you did pause it. I was just trying to like make a joke there. Sorry for shouting at you. You're probably getting shouted at a lot at home as well. So don't worry. This is a safe space. Don't worry. Like you, you can breathe here. Okay. Like, do you have the answer or are you just listening to me ramble, my friend? Okay. So it's not uh, excess uh, to choose more exciting lives with excess to real time feedback on social media. Shouldn't be excess. It should be access. That is a malapropism. Okay, so similar sounding word just used incorrectly. I swam in the specific ocean? No, no, you swam in the Pacific Ocean. 5.7, uh, replace it in line 18 with an appropriate noun or noun phrase. Uh, if you look very carefully here, this it could mean a number of things. So they're asking you about ambiguity without asking you about ambiguity. So consider stepping away from time sucking digital addiction. It will make the rest of your life more interesting. What's gonna make the rest of your life more interesting? Is it stepping away, this change, a shift in focus? What is it gonna be? Considering stepping away because this step will make your life more interesting? Yeah, you need to replace it. So we can go with stepping away or this step or shift in focus or this change, whatever it is. Let's just go with, yeah, answer here being this step because they did mention stepping away and that's it. That's the question.